10 years ago, I was a, an employee at City San Antonio, and I used to take my lunch hours and actually walk along what was then a ditch, overgrown with weeds and trees. It was almost impossible to actually walk on, on that portion of the river and think to myself, this is going to be something different someday. But I was, uh, you know, government employee. I didn't have a lot of money. I had this, I had, you know, so I sort of shared in that vision, but I didn't have any way to actually, you know, participate in, uh, in realizing it at the time. Um, but now, 10 years later, I mean, it, it, it you know, it turned out to be uh, what I, I couldn't imagine as great as it is today, but I just knew there was going to be something happen downtown along that little creek. And sure enough, um, you know, it's just tremendous. So this is a, uh, a perfect example of both the private sector and the public sector working together. But also on the public sector side, which is where I have been, um, you've got the San Antonio River Authority, you've got the city of San Antonio, and, um, and the Corps of Engineers had to be involved in this project to some degree. So you have several public sector entities, and then you have multiple private sector entities that were also engaged. And so uh, a true partnership that made this worthwhile for a project that invested uh, over $70 million. Uh, we now have uh, an economic impact of $2 billion. Nobody foresaw that. And uh, it's just been incredible. We, we all hoped that if we invested money in this project, we would see a return uh, for the citizens, uh, for the community, for the tourists. But nobody dreamed it would have the impact that it, that it does today.